Here we have SNES Rainbow Road, the OG finale track. Let's see what this used to look like. So, you know, we're looking at a pretty simplistic Rainbow Road right here. The whole thing is flat. That's to be expected, though, you know, Super Nintendo days. That's just how things were. And I think this remake definitely goes to show, you know, how simple it was, even though even though everything is very colorful and looks really nice. You know, even nowadays, we love playing this track for how much charm it has, but there has definitely been a lot of major updates since this one. Enter N64 Rainbow Road. So, you know, as we saw from the previous uh, SNES track, that one was pretty short. So Nintendo really wanted to beef things up for the second Rainbow Road in the series. And the original N64 track, it was pretty long the longest Mario Kart track in history. Like, pretty much one lap, it takes about two minutes to complete. And everyone said exactly that. Like, man, this is way too long. I don't know, like, if it should be this bad. Like, we should, like, we should have a, a shorter experience. So Nintendo was like, all right, you know what? If you want a shorter track, we'll give you a shorter track in this remake. So basically, this track is now just three sections that are all pretty short, and now it takes uh, roughly like less than two minutes to get through the entire thing. Although I gotta say, I definitely love this track for the jazzy remix and like all the chain chomps, the fireworks, the trains in the background, like like everything about this is just like it's just like so good despite it being a short experience it's a great experience moving on now we have these middle four rainbow roads neither of which have been recreated in mario kart 8 deluxe officially these are all custom tracks made by the fans i'm still holding out hope that these get recreated at some point but for now this is what we got and this is gba rainbow road which actually does look a lot different from what i remember it because in that track it, like i remember like the way it works is that like the edges were like super bouncy and they would like launch you up so you can perform like really cool shortcuts this one looks a lot different but you know i still like i still really like the uh, design of this there was like a split path back there we got this gliding ramp right here we can make this cloud uh looks like you cannot make it over there let's see what about uh this cloud right here how does this work let's see can we like drive on top of this uh, Yes, there you go. There's a shortcut. Oh, it's kind of an off road, but that's okay. We uh, we still we still made it. Like also the background islands here look really cool too. Like let's see. Like if we if we get over to the glider right here, yeah. Like, there's one like over to the left. Like man, that actually is like a really cool aesthetic for this track. Like man, this one is actually really well made. Oh, I did it. I made it. There we go. Another shortcut right there. This is definitely a fan favorite of mine and many others out there. This is this is probably like one of the best. And man, like this recreation does it so much justice. Rainbow Road from Mario Kart Double Dash. This might be like one where they really like nailed the length of the track and everything about it is just so iconic. Like the uh, like the city that's below us, all of the decorations like with like the shells and the bananas around the track, and then of course the uh, ending section, which we'll get to in a second here. For some reason though, I remember like with like the controls of the GameCube, it was it was always like so hard to stay on. Like, everyone just like kept like knocking me off all the time. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. The end of the track right here. So like we go all the way to the bottom and then we get shot back up to the top in a really cool fashion right here. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that one tube right there just makes this track so iconic. Moving on now, we have one of my childhood Rainbow Roads. Mario Kart DS's Rainbow Road actually did quite a bit to spruce things up. That's gonna come up apparent right here with the first ever loop-de-loop -loop in a Rainbow Road. Actually, this one specifically, there actually seems to be a lot more going on in the background. Like, I think, like, in the original, it was just kind of, like, in space and not really too much, like, going on around us but here there's like there's like floating buildings or whatever and uh, like sparkles going on oh like corkscrew corkscrew right here that that was like that was new as well <laughs> awesome awesome like for some reason this one doesn't really seem to be talked about as much when bringing up the best rainbow roads which you know there's which you know there's definitely a lot of uh, competition for it but so, like playing this right now like, I think if this was to be remade in the real game, people would love it, and it would gain a lot of popularity. Because, man, like, this track actually does look really, really sweet remade here. And this would be the other track that I have a ton of nostalgia for, Mario Kart Wii Rainbow Road. This is definitely one of the best as well. Like, really get a nice view of the Earth uh, from this perspective also. That is definitely apparent in this custom track. And going, like, going around these circles right here, and, like, actually trying to jump over these is uh, really hard. That's something interesting 
interesting to try during a race right there. And we got this crazy tunnel shooting back up to the top, very similar to a double dash, I must say. And I also believe that if this track was to be remade in the Booster Course Pass, people would definitely love this, and it would just boost the popularity of this track even more. Like, come on, make it happen, Nintendo. We all want to see all of these Rainbow Roads in the game. Please. Well then, now we can move back to the official Rainbow Roads released by Nintendo, and this one is the first Booster Course Pass Rainbow Road. The one from 3DS is probably the fan favorite track out of all eight of these. And that is definitely understandable because, man, like everything about this is just so perfect. Because, you know, it starts out on the regular, like, Rainbow Road back there, but then all of a sudden we glide over here to the Rings of Saturn, and it just has a whole other feel to it. Now we're back on the road right here, but that's not going to last too long because now we got this road right here where we can bounce up and down, and then we are on the moon doing tricks off craters, and there's a bunch of rocket ships over here, and, like, everything just looks so good. Not only that, but you accompany this amazing design with probably the best Mario Kart song ever made and yeah you got a track that people are never gonna forget this one actually feels more like an adventure rather than a race and that is not something that i can say about a lot of mario kart tracks this one is so well made all right last one the nitro track from this game rainbow road from mario kart 8 so thinking about this track a lot i think they actually kind of wanted to replicate what they did for mario kart 7 and ha have that like unique feel to it so instead of driving on planets in this one we go onto like a space station right here with the with the uh, like moving floor there and then we glide back over here to the Rainbow Road, where there's actually uh, quite a few places for uh, shortcuts. However, I think this one kind of gets a bad reputation in the community. And I think the biggest reason for that is the Space Station section, because, you know, it's like they kind of wanted to replicate what they did in Mario Kart 7. But when you have a Space Station instead of planets, it's like, you know, it kind of, it kind of feels like you're more like enclosed and not really in space anymore. So I think that just kind of takes away from the whole Rainbow Road road experience. You know, that's kind of like what I think of this, but at the same time, you know, you gotta admire the fact that they kept trying to make Rainbow Road unique, and it's not just like the same thing every time, which is really nice. And, you know, I really, I really can't complain because this is still a great finale track for this game, and I can't wait to see what they do next. And that is the history of Rainbow Road in HD. Thanks for watching.